Recurrent expenditure is four billion naira, four trillion naira. That is too high. If my colleagues can be quiet for a second, that would be nice. There are government agencies that were set up in 1960 that have no value in the modern economy. These agencies must be scrapped. These agencies do not provide any service to a country like Nigeria in the 21st century. They serve no purpose. They are in the budget. They consume resources meant for development. These agencies must be scrapped. You have 2 million civil servants consuming 45% of the recurrent expenditure of Nigeria. You cannot set up a company and 45% of the recurrent expenditure of salaries are spent for 2 million people. You have subsidy of 1.4 trillion naira, which is not in the budget. I don't understand how this will work. We acknowledge that 1.4 trillion naira is spent on subsidy, but it is not in the budget. I do not know what kind of voodoo accounting this is. But may I suggest and propose the following. Nigeria must deregulate immediately. You need to deregulate and save 1.4 trillion, which is not even in the budget, so that that money can be spent on infrastructural development. May I suggest the federal government embark on a mass transit policy, embark on immediate deregulation. I guarantee you, labor and the people will support the move. There will be no strikes. There will be no disruption in the economy. And we will have an additional 1.4 trillion naira to spend on development. And the cost for a mass transit policy will not exceed 200 billion naira. Now that makes a lot of sense and I'm wondering why nobody is talking about the regulation, nobody is talking about the mass transit policy and nobody is talking about 1.4 trillion naira that is being spent and everybody is pretending that the money is not being spent. So really those who prepare the budget need to go back to school.